Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to the Knights of the Square Table server. Today we're not going to be back at the Witch Farm continuing work on there. We are back in the jungle and I want to finish up this automated smelter. We started this back in episode 2 I believe it was. I uh, got this all made, I think. Let's go around here. I uh, got our automated smelter all made. Um, since then I've expanded it. It now has uh, 64 furnaces that uh, these mine carts feed into and uh, one thing that I want to do is make it variable so that you can have 8 furnaces or 16 or 32 or all 64 uh, furnaces running. And so uh, I already have that all set up. Um, the only problem right now is that for it to work, I would need levers powering it all. Uh, but I don't want levers. I want buttons. And I also want re uh, redstone uh, feedback, redstone torch feedback. So um, we're going to be working on that today. So the whole goal is basically I push this button. It will set... Um, set it to eight like if I push this one it will set it to eight furnaces and this one light will turn on and the rest of these will be off and then you'd push this one it would set it to 32 furnaces this light would turn on and the rest would be off and so I've dug out some space here I kind of know how to do this uh, but I did kinda have to alter my plans a little bit from what I originally thought I would have to do. So we have the buttons on this side so the first thing is we're gonna need to bring the signal out out this way. So we need to line these four signals coming out of here up with these four slots. Let's see. So I'll just get these coming out, make sure that they're not running into each other using the uh, repeaters. And then, let's see, I need, uh, let's see, how do I have to do this now? I think like that is how I have to do that. This is the first time I've ever done redstone with uh, slabs, and so it's kind of new to me. Um, but it is very handy, because you can actually send a signal both up and down with slabs. Uh, like right here, what I'm going to be doing here is... Let's get some torches. Yeah, I can craft these, come on. There we go. And let's put those out here so I can get my cobble. I want these torches to be here. And then... Um, and then I also want the redstone to carry over to this other side. And so half slabs allow me to do that. If this was a full... Um, block then this torch would be powering that block which would power that redstone or which would power this redstone which would turn off that torch and you'd have a loop and it would burn out so we can't do that let's see and I'm gonna need redstone right down here so let's just put that there that'll make placing these easier and the half slabs get the redstone on there uh, so, what? I, whoops, fail. <clears throat> what I need to do here is create uh, RS nor latches, and uh, let me create one, and then we can see what they do. All right. So to create an RS nor latch, uh, at least this design, this is a uh, one wide design, which allows me to fit it. 
fit four of them in this small area. Let's see. You just have to do this. Let's see. And then like that. And then what happens is let's see, I'm gonna need to borrow one of these buttons. And that is the third one. So we hit this, and if you notice. Uh, this gets powered, and that stays powered now, even though the button is off. It's not because of that torch. I can break that. Um, but it's because of this torch. Uh, this torch turns on. And what you can do is reset it with a button here. And now that torch turns on. And then again, if I... Let's see, I can even just move the button like right here. And now that one turns on. Um, so that's the basic uh, redstone mechanism that I'm going to be using here. And what, let's see, what I'm going to do is basically down here, let's see, let's make four more torches. Uh, and then these will go on here. And these just carry the signal down. And I also need it inverted. And then we need a piston here and a block, a repeater. You gotta break this block first. And then this will come up there. So what happens here is uh, the button sends a signal down here. It turns this torch off, turns that one on, and powers that line of redstone down there. And then what I have here is, um, I believe it's called a monostable circuit. Basically when this gets powered, let's see, let's get rid of this here. And then put that block there. When get when uh, that gets powered, see it's gonna be hard to see. So if I do that, uh, it's that's pretty hard to see. What happened to the torch? There it is. There we go. You see how uh, when I break this, it sends a pulse through that uh, repeater. That's basically what I'm using this as. I'm using it as a pulse generator. It's going to set a pu send a pulse. And uh, we're going to have a block right there. And a block right here. And then... Let's see. I can continue this up. Uh, did I miss it? Uh, nope, just gotta go one farther in. So that's going to send a signal through there. It's going to power this block, which is going to power this, which is going to be the same as putting a button here. It's going to uh, reset this RS nor latch. And it's the way it's set up is it's going to reset all of the RS nor latches. And then. Um, so if we push this button right here, it will power this one. That will send a pulse, reset all of them. And then that pulse will turn off, but this one will still be powered from the button. And it will flip this switch here. Um, and if that wasn't clear, then I'll just finish this up and we will take a look afterwards. All right, so I have the four switches in place with the uh, resetting um, mechanism or whatever you want to call it. And then I also have some outputs. I have torches here. And so let's go push a button and see how it works. So let's push this one. And as you can see, the only one on is that one. And if we go back then here we have that torch outputting a signal there. So let's push a different one. It resets all of them and then turns just that one on. Oh, we gotta go through here. 
and we just have that uh, redstone signal. So that is all working perfectly. Now the only, the biggest problem I've actually had with this whole design is getting feedback up here so that I know uh, since we're using buttons, you know, you push this one, well I don't know which one's activated. And I don't know how to tell. So we need to give feedback to the user. So to create this feedback, we're gonna somehow have to uh, bring power from over here, uh, whichever one is activated, which right now is none of them. That's weird. Not sure how that happened. Must have just been from spamming buttons. But uh, we need to bring power from over here um, up to these repeaters. Which will then power those blocks, which will um, turn those off. Or we actually need to invert the power here too. So that all of them are by default turned off. So now we have these four torches powering those repeaters and all these are off. So we just need to uh, bring up these signals up to these torches and unpower those and to be honest I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work I think this one we can actually just bring right up here and then bring up there yeah so that one works and then let's now I can't get out excellent <laughs> uh, there we go so that one's turned on so now let's work on the next one here. So we need to bring that signal up to here, which is I think going to be a little bit more difficult. Because uh, if we put it there, then it's going to connect up to that one. Hmm. Ooh, I know. I know how to fix this. So we can do that, and then we need to actually get rid of that and replace it re with a repeater. And then we can stick a block up there, and that will uh, stop that from connecting. So that works. And then we need to get this one up to here. So let's see. I think this one's going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just bring that redstone all the way up. And then let's go turn it on, make sure that it works. So turn that on, and that one turns on. So that works. We just have one more here. Uh, and the only problem with this one is I'm kind of running into the ground over there. Let's see. So I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that one. Uh, I might just have to redo some of the landscaping. Uh, let's see. I need to get up there. Oh, not down there. Uh, sweet. <laughs> Just blocking all of my paths. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll just... Oh, that's not going to work. Um, one thing that I could do, though, is move this one over. Connect redstone there. Get rid of that, and then put redstone on top of that one. And that will work fine. And then I can put a slab there and bring this wire all the way back. So now we can power that fourth one. And boom, there we go. Oh, it's all working. So that's one. That one messed up. Why is that one messing up? 
All right, so we just have that one on. Oh, I bet it's because of that. It's probably, yep, it's pushing the signal through and out here. Um, so we can't actually do that, huh? Okay, I think I figured it out here. Pretty simple solution. I'm uh, gonna need some more dirt to fill that back in. So I just raised this up so that that block is not powering those, I think. So let's try it out again. So we got one, one works, two, two works, three, three works, four, Four works, awesome. So everything works there. And then all that we have left to do is connect all of these wires to uh, their wires in here. So I will get that done real quick. All right, so I got everything wired up. So now uh, this one will be for eight furnaces. So if we push that and we go out here then you'll see that the redstone signal starts all the way here at the beginning and powers everything past all these hoppers past the first eight furnaces and so nothing will get put into those furnaces push the second one that will be 16 uh, furnaces and you'll see that uh, the redstone signal now starts here instead of back there so that's another eight furnaces that are on for a total of 16. And then the third one is 32 furnaces. So now the signal starts way back here. So that's only half of the furnaces running. And then the last button doesn't actually have any output. Uh, that is the 64 furnaces. So now there is no redstone powered. All of these are um, pulling items out of the chest and putting them into the furnace. As you can see, there's no output on that fourth one. So everything uh, technical is done. The rest is just putting signs up, telling what it is, blocking it up. So I'll do that quick, and then we will end the episode. Well, our automated smelter is finally officially completed all you have to do is come in here you can put your uh, items that you want to smelt in here like if I wanted to make stone stick for uh, cobblestone let's do five cobblestone and I would stick my coal in here and uh, then you can just well and then uh, first you want to select how many furnaces you want to use I have uh, how many stacks you have as a guide so I put five stacks in here which means um, I would want 32 furnaces running because uh, this is all based off of coal as this says number of stacks based on coal so if I have eight furnaces that means I have at least eight coal burning and since since each coal can smelt eight blocks then that would be 64 blocks or one stack 16 furnaces it would be two stacks and then 32 furnaces would be four stacks and 64 furnaces would be eight stacks so since i have five stacks uh you always want to go round down so it'd be four stacks and uh, i could send this on its way in fact i think i will there should be some coal in there and if not then uh let's see if it runs must be missing some coal there because a few of them didn't uh, start up but yeah I just send it on its way it drops off its I the items in there and starts smelting and we already have stone coming out so that is pretty cool so I hope you guys like the episode I hope you like the uh, technical red stoning this is Probably the most technical that I've done. 
uh, working with RS snow latches and doing redstone with half slabs. That's definitely new to me. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye, peoples.